Hey guys, I'm gonna make a quick little video. Uh, it's cold as hell out today and it's windy as hell. It's uh, my truck the other day, I got duels on it. Alright, basically this video is to show you. Um, it's not gonna be a step by step video by any means, but this is a 98 uh, Mustang GT. Uh, I'm doing a amp install in it. This is my brother's car. Um, I got this pulled back right now. Uh, I got most of it done. Uh, by the way, this is the Mach 460 system. You see in there. Uh, I already got my power wire ran. Um, I got my remote wire ran. If you have any questions about the remote, it's pretty simple. Um, just look up in there. And, um, you can, I don't know if, yeah, you can't see the blue wire. But I just ran it to the fuse box, be, being you ain't got the remote on the factory system. Um, but this is factory system. I didn't even pull out the radio or nothing like that. Uh, I'm going to do a speaker level in with an Alpine amp. I'll see how that works out. If it doesn't work out too good, I'll just do a line output converter like uh, I usually do on stock cars. But um, anyway, if you have a question on what number it is, it's it's a blue 15 amp fuse. And it's the radio is actually the first one I pulled. I couldn't really find a good diagram online. So if you have a question on what number it is on there, I'll tell you. This um, give me, just inbox me if you have a question or whatever. Um, so yeah, I ran that back. I already got the power wire ran all underneath here. Um, see, there's a little blue remote wire. Here's the most important thing: uh, is the ground. The ground's the most important thing. Here's where I did the ground. I was a little iffy where to do it at first because I didn't really find a place. But you need to do it right here. That's where the seat belt uh, buckle is, and um, you can just do just make sure you take off that paint with a wire brush or you know get a drill I'd use the drill and um, take that off take this whole piece off uh, sand that down or wire brush it really really good and you can just do uh, bare wire if you want to but I didn't I didn't have a big enough ring thing to go around there uh, ring terminal so I did that there and everything else is pretty much done it's nowhere near a uh, clean job yeah I haven't did that um, of course, it's going to be one of those I get done because the amp's going to mount right here. So um, here's your ground. There's the here's the ground. There's the power wire. There's the remote wire. The power wire is not live right now because I don't have it hooked up to the battery, so it doesn't really matter what I do with it. I already got the terminal there. I got it crimped, and uh, that's pretty much it. To take out the back seat, all you got to do is reach underneath there and push this little tab right there. That's all you got to do, and that releases the whole back seat. Just push the seatbelt buckles down. But if you have any questions, just let me know. Inbox me. Uh, it's a pretty simple job. It's not too bad. Being is a small car, I thought it was going to be a little harder to work on, but uh, it's not too bad. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys.